Today my travels take me to Basilis, a fantastic Italian restaurant in northeastern Pennsylvania located just outside of hometown. I am with Paula at Basilis. Tell me about your place. Very casual, fun, laid back, you know, we're, we like to sit with people, laugh with people, joke, you know, it's, it's a very cool, very just um, fun atmosphere. A yeah, perfect Italian restaurant, that's yeah. what I like. <laughs> We have pizza, strombolis, appetizers, tons of salads, different different kind of good salads, um, cheese steaks, hoagies, burgers, wraps, club sandwiches. I mean, our, our we run weekly specials. They're they're great. They're totally different than what's on the menu. Not you know the traditional Italian foods. When Paul and her husband Vito moved to northeastern Pennsylvania, they brought that love of great homemade cooking with them in the form of the best family recipes from the old country. When we met, we uh, he moved up to this area, and we, you know, found this beautiful property, and we just, you know, decided that's what we want to do: open a restaurant. And the recipes? The recipes come from his family? Uh, a little bit of both. And the daily prepping to make some amazing Italian dishes doesn't come easy. Prepping good homemade food and running a successful restaurant starts early every day. Uh, well, there's one guy that makes the sauce. He's been here seven years, and he always makes the sauce. Never changes. Uh, it cooks four to four to six hours, depending on the quantity we make. Um, but I mean, he starts by uh, running the tomatoes through the mill, you know, uh, adding all the ingredients. Then we put it on the stove. It cooks, and then they take it down, and they run it through the mill again to make the sauce sauce finer. Nice, old school family Italian, because it's not out of a big can, no. right? Everything is here is made to order. Like people sometimes think, oh, it's it's just another chain, or you know, I every single dish is made to order uh, for the customer. It's so you know, if you don't want something, if so another, uh, we can tweak anything. It's nothing is from a bag. And that everything is made to order attitude that Paul and Vito have pays off with the customers. I'm here with Genevieve. <laughs> Genevieve, can you yes. tell me about the food here. What do you like about coming here? I like the food and I like the waiters. <laughs> the waitresses, they're very nice. What's your favorite thing to eat here? Oh, I like their pizza. <laughs> we always come and stop here for something very good to eat. The yes. food is excellent here. The pizza is excellent. It's, it has a very light crust and thin. Just, it's just marvelous. Everybody should come here. <laughs> Not only do Paula and Vito keep their customers happy, it seems like they keep their workers happy too. The best part about working here is that we're like a family. After our lunch rush is over, yeah, we'll all, all the staff, everybody in the kitchen and the girls out front, and Paula and Vito will all sit and have lunch together. And I have to imagine those lunches are fantastic, especially if they whip up Paula's favorite dish. What's the one dish here that you're most proud of? Let's say pasta marca. Okay. Oh, it's named after my son. It's very fun. I don't know. I just love the taste. Uh, there's some vodka sauce, crab meat, fresh vegetables, and pasta, of course. I mean, that makes everything better. <laughs> so when someone orders that, you're smiling from yeah. ear to ear, right? A quick slice of pizza, great Italian dinner, catering for any occasion, and an on-site banquet room. This restaurant has it all. Uh, our banquet room it seats up to 100 people. Um, it's very very beautiful room. There's a fireplace, cathedral ceilings. Um, it, we cater to showers, funerals, corporate parties, um, birthday parties, reunions, you, you name any it. Kind any, any kind of party. So next time you're in the hometown area, stop by Basilis and tell Paula and Vito I said. Now, Northeastern Pennsylvania is known for great pizza. Today I'm in the Butler Valley, and there's only one place in the Butler Valley to get some great pizza, and that's Vesuvio. I'm with Sophia, and I'm in Vesuvio's. It's a beautiful place. Now, I didn't know anything about Vesuvio's. How would you describe this restaurant to me? We're a family-owned and operated restaurant, and we're known for our pizza, but we're so much more for 40 years, Sophia and her family have been serving up great pizza and pasta dishes to the area, and the recipes have never changed. Everything is the same as my dad taught us how to do it. My dad was a cook on the cruise ships when we were in Italy, when we lived there. So all his recipe came from the cruise ships for, from working. What dish that you do right now that you're most proud of? It's the regular pizza. Still my favorite. It's Exactly 
Papa's recipe, my son Donald, he makes the pizza very close to my dad. Like, he's almost there. To the point that my dad made pizza left-handed, my son is right-handed, but he makes the pizza left-handed. Paying attention to even the smallest detail matters at Vesuvio's. The staff works hard daily to make sure everything is up to the highest standards. The sauce is made fresh every single day. For going from pizza sauce to spaghetti sauce, the dough is also made fresh daily. All the ingredients, the pasta and everything is cooked fresh every single time. And that really matters. Oh, definitely. But you could tell the difference when it's done fresh and when it's not. For most people in the region, the name Vesuvio's is synonymous with pizza. All kinds of pizza, like this one. This is called the Jenna. It's a thin crust pizza with sauce, basil, and fresh mozzarella. But Vesuvio's is so much more, like Sophia's son Jimmy explains. We have a great selection of dinners, and they range from the caprese salad all the way through to our special for this week is going to be mussels aya oyo. We do um, beautiful calamari in a spicy Thai chili sauce, which is a different take on traditional Italian with the marinara. And it's excellent, it's very popular. I think we're well known for our pizza, so come for our pizza, but stay for our dinners. The dessert we have, it's cheesecake, cannoli, tiramisu, sometimes it's a, a pastiera, which I have there now. The pastiera is an Italian dessert tradition in Naples, that's where I come from. We also sell our Libby's ice cream to our donor shop, a donor connection, so the customers could get ice cream. We do a lot of in-house catering. We do bridal showers, baby showers. Like, we even have hosted a wedding here, which was a little tough, but you know, we've survived. And, and we also do trays for sympathy trays or parties that you could take our food and cater at your own location. We opened up the patio, uh, I would say in 2013, and slowly but surely we've been building onto it, making it better, making it bigger. We have a full bar out there. Um, we have nine draft beers on the patio, and we just finished a little work on my draft system inside, which is now has 20 draft beers. So we are up to 29 now, which is probably one of the better ones, biggest, bigger selections in the area. I know where I'm gonna be. In the summer, I think. <laughs> I hope so. I hope to see more of you. Here's a question I always have to ask someone who owns an Italian restaurant mm -hmm. and a pizzeria. Do you eat pizza with a fork? No, absolutely not. You have to fold it and just tear into it. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Come down to Vesuvio's and get yourself a great slice of pizza. Do you like craft beer? Do you want to learn the right way to sample wine? How about visiting a restaurant that has a unique flavor or a crazy food challenge? These are just some of the types of things that we will be featuring on our new show, Wine, Hops and Road Stops. Jeff Bonomo, host of Off the Beaten Path and author of Beer Drinker's Guide to Survival, welcomes you into the world of craft beer, great wine and good eats. Let Jeff do all the taste testing for you and finds places to eat, drink, and be merry. Your business needs to be a part of this amazing new show on WYLN-TV. The Wine Hops and Road Stop crew will come to your business, interview a representative, and highlight one signature product. The five-minute segment will be placed in an upcoming episode that will air on WYLN-TV on the following cable systems. For more information, please contact Jeff Bonomo at 570-459-1869, extension 1150, or email jbonomo at ptd.net. WYLN, we're your local network.